OntarioLevel.com here at the Flamborough Speedway, standing here with Dale Shaw, the man who led most of the laps last week, but you weren't the Shaw standing in victory lane. Talk about uh, what happened last Saturday night. I uh, Let's just say I was wishing it was a 29 lap race after that one. We uh, led 29 laps, coming off of turn two, got loose, kissed the wall a little, and just mayhem down in turn three. Now, last year when we were here, we found you in victory lane, the mini stock division. Talk about the difference moving up from the minis to the lates, and it seems to be a transition that was fairly easy for you if you're running up front. Yeah, we. Uh, I got two practice sessions before the, before the year started and helped a ton. That was my third race out last weekend, and it's just it's coming along and learning more every lap. And just running with the guys, different guys here at Flambro is huge. You, just, you learn everything every lap. It's cool. As a young driver, how valuable is it to have uh, the the older uh, Shaws in the family that you can draw off of for information? That has to be so invaluable. It's huge. Like on testing days, it's this: the car is doing this. This is what to do. This is your line. This is what you got to improve on. And little stuff even at the shop. It's cool. Now, uh, what does your schedule look like for 2012? Are you sticking to Flamber, or will you dabble a little bit in some of the special races around the province? Well, if we can keep the fenders clean, we're going to try and travel a little, but if, we, if it ends up like last week, it's going to be a long year. <laughs> now, it takes a lot of good people and sponsors to get you to the track. Who would you like to thank? Uh, JS Construction, Roof Trusses and Components, uh, Waverdale Fleet Service, Wix Filters, Gunk, Lucas Oil, and everybody else, my family, everybody. There you go, that's Dale Shaw. He's hoping he leads at least just the last lap this week here at the Flamborough Speedway. I'm Greg Kellen for OntarioLoval.com.